Also in the news now, community concerns over a proposal to build a multi-million dollar attraction on Zoo Miami property. The water park battle is now brewing. Conservationists are saying H2 no. 7's Alex Browning is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with both sides of the story. Alex. And ladies, this project was approved by the majority of voters here in Miami-Dade County and has been in the works for decades. But recent development in the area is now uh, raising questions about what this new water park would do to already fragmenting and disappearing wildlife habitat. This parking lot is at the center of a new development battle heating up in Miami-Dade County. It is really only the water park and it is only in this one segment of the parking lot, which is far away from environmental zones. This is part of a promotional video put out by the developers of Miami Wilds, a water park proposed for Zoo Miami's West parking lot. I think the last water park that was around here was back in Homestead when I was like 10 years old. So, so we definitely need something new and something exciting down in the south. But there is a fight to get county commissioners to deny a renewal of the lease for the area which is coming up for a vote Wednesday on social media. This fragment I'm standing in right now is the most biodiverse habitat in South Florida. This is the pine rockling habitat, actually the largest piece outside of Everglades National Park. And in the courts where conservationists filed suit against the county alleging last year's lease between Miami-Dade and the developer wasn't in line with the original referendum passed by voters in 2006 to allow for development on Metro Zoo property that is not environmentally sensitive and is outside of the animal attractions. We as county employees at the zoo have been told we are forbidden from speaking about this project, to give our opinions on this project. So I have to go out as a private citizen, take a day off, come to my home to speak about this because I'm passionate about it. I don't care if I lose my job over this. I'd rather lose my job than my credibility as a conservationist. Ron McGill wants to make it clear he is not speaking on behalf of the zoo, but is exercising his right as a private citizen to express his personal views that this promotional video doesn't show the impacts to what he says is a project that has been tried and failed across Miami-Dade and other locations. Miami Wild says it will generate more than $120 million in payments to the county on top of hundreds of new jobs and property taxes. They're going to charge for parking. They're going to expect numbers that I don't think they can make. And at the end of the day, it's going to be a boondoggle. And it's going to end up being a white elephant. I hate to use that kind of pun. Zoo Miami is a bad location for this water park. There's just bad information out there. The folks behind this project now responding. Reality is every square inch of this project, of the Miami Wilds project, is being developed in paved parking area. There's not one square inch of Pine Rockland that's being impacted by this project today or, or any time in the future. And so commissioners are set to vote on this lease extension tomorrow morning. We're in Southwest Miami-Dade this noon, Alex Browning, 7 News.